This is News 10 at 6. Two years ago today, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, ending the constitutional right to an abortion. That ruling setting off fierce debates over reproductive rights across the country. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. One of those debates centered around federal legislative efforts to protect access to contraception. News 10's Aaron Bowling joins us live in studio with what both sides are saying on this second anniversary. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Ann and David. Today in mid-Michigan, the pro-choice side is working to send people to the polls, while the pro-life side is working to speak for unborn babies. While they hold differing viewpoints, both sides agree that they have to figure out a way to talk to each other about it. I would just hope that we could have conversations between the sides of this issue. Those one-on-one -on -one conversations that you have with your neighbors. Pro-life and pro-choice both hoping to find common ground with the opposing viewpoint. At Michigan's Capitol Monday, pro-choice advocates gathered to reflect on the past two years and discuss the upcoming election. We need to fight for women's rights and the vote in November is extremely important, so that's what we're really pushing for. Speakers at the rally expressing concern regarding a failed bill that could have protected birth control access in the U.S. Those at the rally afraid that the bill's failure means birth control could be taken away, depending on election outcomes. So there's just a lot more things that could really go south if, if we don't continue to fight. Not far from the Capitol at Planned Parenthood, Jennifer Gaylor hopes to spread her message of choosing life. She says her husband was adopted and some of her grandchildren were put up for adoption, reinforcing her belief that there are other options. I, I'm not up on all the political stuff because I feel like I don't, uh, I can't really do much, but I can say the words I'm saying with my sign. Let's, let's love the moms, let's love the babies, and try to love each other. Today's rally at the Capitol was part of the National Women's Strike 2024 through the Women's March. Gaylor, outside of Planned Parenthood, says she's there every Monday to speak for those who can't yet. Live in the studio, Erin Bowling, News 10. And the Roe v. Wade decision came down in 1973. It was overturned in 2022. Looking live over downtown Jackson tonight, we have started the last week of June with back to normal summer temperatures. No more heat wave. Colton Sikoraki is in 